on today's show, we have something really exciting. The Movie Star Turtles. Hey guys, on this uh, special midweek episode, I'm going to take a look at these bootleg uh, movie turtles that I ordered off Amazon. They were 30 bucks, and we're going to see if they were worth it. I'll start with Leo. And I'd filmed this yesterday, but two of the cameras were filming on time lapse, so I couldn't really use it. I might throw in some footage of me putting his sword into uh, some recently boiled water to warm it up before putting it between these two glass blocks, which were previously candle holders. But you could put it through or in between something else heavy. And it straightened out quite a bit, but still not great. So the, shit, the weapons are uh, not awesome. This guy, Mikey, his uh, nunchucks have uh, some paint defects, but that's easy to fix. They also don't have the um, little spots like the movie turtles do, or the original toys that these were copied from. And when I got them, I noticed in the pictures these guys have switched heads but I do like this head better on Mikey and a more serious face on uh, Leo it makes more sense but the original toys were not like that and the ones in the pictures weren't like that so I wonder if you ordered them or if I ordered them again if they would have the head switched because the belts on Raf and uh, Michelangelo were switched, but I fixed them in the prior video that I filmed that didn't work. Uh, I really like Splinter, but he's got a difficulty standing up. He comes with some cool accessories, but yeah, he doesn't like to stand up and he's looking up. But as far as customs go, these four, I'm gonna be painting them to look like the movie turtle toys. So just adding the spots and maybe bring out, they've got a lot of good detail in the sculpt, even though it's an inferior plastic. And it's a little stiffer, but I'm sure it'll get worked in. So I'm gonna bring out these details and give them some spots. Splinter will probably turn into a Marvel character. He already looks like Rocky Raccoon, but that might be boring. And he's uh, like Ringer, I mean, not in looks, but in character for a Stick from Daredevil, because the Turtles were originally a spoof of Daredevil, and Stick was the sensei of Daredevil. But he doesn't want to stand up. The Foot Soldier over here, I don't know, he looks cool, but he comes with this weird bat. It looks like it's a foam bat, so I don't know what damage he'd be doing. And, uh, I don't know. He's the one I like the least. If it came with the Super Shredder like the original pack would have, that would be much better. That would be dope, but I'll do something with him. We'll see. This bat is odd. And Donnie, him and Leo both have the same belt. I don't know how the sword would go into that. I mean, not well. Maybe make a new sword for Leo, because that's pretty wonky. But his um, bow staff was also very bent, and so I attached it to this pole with some elastics. Oops. And it straightened out quite a bit. Could be straighter, but that's pretty good. I'm happy enough with that. Much better than it was. I'll show, add in some pictures. We have Raph here. His size were in the best condition of any of the weapons. This bow staff is uh, a little wonky. It's a crooked arrow. Well, that's okay. So they were 30 bucks from Amazon. Would I recommend them? Uh, yeah, I think they're all right for the price and I'm gonna customize them. I might get another set to customize as well, but do something different with. But yeah, if you're not looking for um, a collector's item, 
and you just want to play with them or customize them, yeah, that's a go. And if you are interested, I have a link down below. You can check it out. I think that's it. I'll have uh, Rocksteady coming on Saturday. You want to tune in for that. And until next time, remember, always keep your head up. Thanks for watching. Peace.